As some of you know, I do have a two meter radio in my garage. I spend a lot of time in the garage and outdoors in the summertime. So it's nice to have a radio in the garage. And most of the time I have a small 5 8 wave antenna just up in the rafters here. I do have switching capability, so if I really want to, I can flip a switch in the shack and flip a switch out here and I can connect my main base antenna from the shack to this radio. So I do that occasionally, but sometimes I want to just leave that radio hooked up to the base antenna. Have this on a separate antenna, a smaller antenna that's much lower, especially during storm conditions or lightning protection. I disconnect my base antenna and it's nice to have this radio in the garage operational. So I want to try to improve that antenna a little bit. It's kind of marginal. I'd like to see if I could just improve it a little bit. It is inside the garage here right now up in the rafters. So I would like to get it just outside a little bit. So I'll show you what my plan is. Let's take a look. The antenna I'm using now is a 5 8 wave mobile antenna mounted on a ground plane. And as you can see, up above the antenna there is a roof vent. This will make a simple installation if a magnetic mount antenna will stick to one of these vents and it'll make it easy to remove if I want to remove it. It'll also put the antenna up just a little bit higher and out of the garage a little farther away from some of the noise sources I have in the garage and it's still up at a decent height. The magnet does stick. That's good. I think this might work. You'll need to check the antenna with the SWR analyzer to be sure that it is tuned properly. And it looks like it is resonant on the 2 meter band here. This is a different antenna than I had in the garage. I also want to check it for uh, local repeaters here and be sure it's going to work okay in this position. And it's working good so now to get the coax down into the garage this is what I'm doing. This won't affect uh, rain getting into the garage or anything. This will work just fine. I examined the inside of the vent. I will bend those tabs back when I'm done. I'll also bend the whip of the antenna vertical since uh, the magnet is offset a little bit at an angle. There's a completed project barely visible from the ground. Well, maybe that gave you some ideas for yourself. Otherwise, you kind of see what I did here to improve my setup a little bit. So uh, I appreciate you watching the videos, and I am a radio ham guy on YouTube, not to be confused with ham radio guy, that's somebody else. WD0AKX, Larry, 7-3. We have some good band conditions here tonight, but nobody seems to be on the radio.